Hello fellow makeup fiends, just thought I'd do a quick video for you showing some stuff that I've got over the past couple of days. Um, just a few things really, I kind of took some stuff back to River Island and got something else, took something back to Primark, got something else, uh, found something really cool in the charity shop and then picked up another couple of little things today. So I guess I'll start with the charity shop thing, well there's two things actually but this is one of them. And it's this case that says the little black dress really lovely it's a really hard solid case it's got a very decorative handle and it's got like a push sort of fastening there and what I've done is transferred out of the drawer my hair things and I've put my curling iron and my little mini straighteners that I use to straighten my fringe every day in there and that's really ideal because it kind of keeps them out the drawer and it's just really quite handy so that is on the floor next to the desk and it looks really cute and the other thing I picked up in there is this dish and it was 50 pence I don't even know if you can see me it was 50 pence and it's a really pretty sort of little sort of square plate with a lot of detailing around the edge I really love things like this and I'm, I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet but I will use it for some kind of trinkets and I probably will do a video about all that side at some point um, but there's quite a lot of stuff on there um, but yeah so that's that um, and then I'm going to move on to some other things so I got these jeans in Primark they were 12 but I think they went through for 6 because I took something back and I didn't have to pay anything and they're a very light denim and I've just got this lovely floral pattern all over they are a skinny jean and they do go down to the ankles but I've actually done this really big turn up here and surprisingly, I know it looks a bit funny, but when you get it on, it looks really great. Now these are actually too big for me, um, but these were, they only had two pairs actually left. So I just got the bigger pair and I'm basically um, just wear them down on my hips with like a long white t-shirt tucked in. And they look really cute. So I've been looking for floral jeans for a while. And there are some out there in River Island have a lovely pair of sort of cropped ones in the sale for £15 but that is obviously an excellent price and they are really good quality so and um, on the front we've got really a lovely button which is a rose just seems to have they have quite a lot of nice detail in about them so I was very pleased with those and I'm dropping things everywhere and then I took some stuff back to River Island and I was going to get a refund but the sale was on and I got tempted and I got sidetracked and so I got some things in the sale instead. <laughs> so um, I picked up three things. I got this beautiful little sheer blouse. It looks like this. So it's got short sleeves that kind of got like a tucked over effect there. And it's got a print on and the print is little dogs. I can make that up got dogs on it it's cream color and it is sheer and at the back this is the best part it is open at the back and then at the bottom it actually ties at waist level which I absolutely love I love open back tops just to show detail if you've got a really pretty bra on or a top underneath because um, I really like my back and I just think it's really nice in hot weather but I just thought this was so pretty really love it and what I tried it on over the top of was this body this is a lace body now this is in a large it is it is quite it is a bit loose it's not like tight fitting but that's nice really and I don't know if you're making it out but it's the most amazing electric blue colour it is absolutely gorgeous I love it I love lace bodies anyway because I think they look really nice peeking out from different things they look absolutely brilliant under a sheer blouse um, so that's really cool and I like to wear that with a bandeau of my bra or I have actually got a blue bra um, which will probably look really nice or even a black one to be honest but it's really pretty and this one didn't have a price tag on it so they did that for five pounds in the sale and I thought that was a really good deal she was like oh well you can't bring this back I was like there's just no way I'm taking that back I love it <laughs> and then the last thing I got was this t-shirt now I've noticed that a lot of people on YouTube and really out on the high street have been embracing the kind of moustache sort of things like the necklaces, the earrings, the t-shirts and I was looking for something like that but the ones on eBay are going for quite a lot of money so I was just looking for something 
cheaper but that was as quirky as that and I came across that at River Island I'd never actually seen this at full price so I was really pleased and it's a sort of I don't know it's a kind of grey colour I guess no I don't know it's like a I don't know <laughs> but it's a pale colour it's not white and it's not cream and it's got an amazing print on the front I hope you can see that because I can't see the camera so it says bonjour which of course is hello in French it's lovely and it's got this really huge moustache on with curly ends and those are that's in sequence and I absolutely love it now believe it or not this is a size 12 it is absolutely huge I mean these things are obviously meant to be oversized but I pulled it out and I thought oh that's got to be about an 18 because oversized tops you know um, you can actually afford to go down a couple of sizes I thought oh well maybe it's not very top but it's really large but it's bigger than an 18 to be honest it's a lot bigger I would hate to see I would normally wear 14 to 16 usually a 16 because I've got big boobs <laughs> so if I'd seen a 16 in this it would have probably been massive this is a 12 and this is really oversized but it's just really lovely on and I had denim shorts on at the time and it looked really cool with them so I was really pleased to get those and that was that for then and then I just kind of picked up some things today when I was out I'm a bit obsessed with these girls allowed eyelashes these are the festival version these are the Nadine ones which I absolutely love I've got the gems on I'll take them out because I don't think you're going to be able to see that properly so that's them and I've got gems on I absolutely love these and if you want to see me wearing them if you check out my cream egg video they're on there I actually wore them for my anniversary so I really really love these these are a pound in my local savers now the thing is that la these lashes are really good these are I think these these are by Eyelua now Eyelua do really good eyelashes and I'm I've always been really impressed with the quality of their lashes but they're often around five six pounds and these actually retail for six pounds in Sainsbury's at present and just to pick them up for a pound is amazing um, it comes with like a little lanyard which to be honest I just chuck that away I don't keep that but I do keep these packets because it's a very st sturdy plastic packaging and it snaps shut at the top and I just think that may be good at some point for storage of some sort or if you're going on holiday and you don't want products to sort of drip into your bag or if they get squashed or you know if the lid comes off I think something like this that snaps closed like that I think that's really good to protect things in your bag it's also good if you're also going on holiday and you're going to take jewellery with you even junk jewellery but you don't want it to get tangled or messed up with other things rather than carry boxes you could just put those things in here and again it's snapshot everything's going to be kept safe in there um, so yeah I just think that this has got a lot of different uses it's quite a nice size so I picked those up my favorite ones are the ones with the gems and then these ones I absolutely love these are the Kimberly ones they have actually got a feather on the end here but I cut that off and when you cut that off they are the most beautiful sort of everyday sort of lashes they're long but you know they're not really clumpy not too feathery so they're quite natural so I've got quite a few pairs of these now but I keep picking them up every time I see them it's a, you know literally two pound there and it's like these would cost you 12 pounds so I think that's a really good saving and I just think that you know lashes you get a couple of wears out of them and then sometimes you lose one or you know they get a bit gunged up and you go throw them away and I think a pound's enough to pay for something that is essentially a throwaway item and um, while I was in savers I picked up this package here um, I'm going to take it out because obviously the light is reflected on it now I absolutely love these tweezers They're kind of like a little I don't know like a little geisha girl a little Chinese Japanese girl um, I really love them I've got a pair upstairs and a pair downstairs um, and I've got a pair in one of my handbags and this is for my other handbag because sometimes I forget to change things from the work to the everyday handbag and these are just really very useful and um, these are a lovely pinky colour so I'm really pleased with them and these were a pound normally I pay a pound for just these on their own but it was this really cute nail file and this one's in green and the good thing about these is the pattern's actually on the back as well so that's the back of the little girl and of course the tweezers 
are the same. So they're really nicely finished for a pound. It's just a lot of attention to detail. And they're really pretty, so I'm, I'm loving these. And then I went into Superdrug, and I actually went into Superdrug to get nail varnish remover, and I totally forgot to get nail varnish remover. I don't know where my head was at at the time. Um, but I did get a couple of things from Gosh. I got um, a nail varnish in bright yellow. This is from the new range of Gosh and it's called oh my gosh and it's this just gorgeous yellow now I did look at the Barry M one and this was 2 99 which was the same price as the Barry M one but this has got a sheen to it whereas the Barry M was quite a flat colour and it's a bit warmer than the Barry M yellow I really wanted a yellow to do kind of like leopard or cheetah sort of print nails so I was really pleased to see that and then I got a couple of lipsticks from Gosh. Um, lipsticks at the moment from Gosh have got £2 off so they're four forty nine, I think. So that's really good. And this is in... This is from the standard range. This is number 145. And to be honest, I'm finding it really difficult to read it. So the print is really terrible but it's something coral. That's the colour hope you can make that out. I'll do a little swatch on that as well. So that's the colour there. It's a really, really bright. It's like, it reminds me of the colour of Candy Rock. If you've ever had that, it's a really bright pink. But it's a coral pink. It's not pink pink. <laughs> you can see that it's got a definite orange tone to it. So I got that one. And then this one... I don't know, this must be new. I love the little bit of detail and on the top of the packaging. And this one is number 147 and it's called Sunrise. Now I've never seen anything like this colour before. And I've got corals and peaches and things. But it's just a really, really lovely orange colour. <laughs> well, not orange, but kind of a, a hot peach. It's really lovely. It's quite surprising because I looked at it and thought, oh no, that is just so disgusting. But when you get it on your lips, it's actually really nice. I was so surprised. So that's it there. Hold on. So there you go. You can see it there. It's the one on the right. So as you can see, it's it's got a lot of... It's not opaque. It's quite sheer. It's a really pretty colour and they're really lovely. And then the only other things I got um, was I went to store 21 and I got this cup and I think it's really cute. It's got flowers on it. It was 1.99. It's a really nice big cup and that's for storing my mascaras on my desk because I've got this whole kind of shabby chic sort of thing going on. And then the other thing I got I'm going to take all my nail varnishes out of the drawer and I'm going to put them um, on my cabinet and I was looking for a box and I found one that was quite nice but then I saw this in the sale it was £3.99 and it's a woven basket it's got little handles and then it's got this lovely fabric liner with roses on it which is really pretty so I'm going to put all my nail varnishes in there and I'll do a video once I've done that and you can have a look at the organisation but I just thought that would look really pretty and it would just solve a lot of my problems because I've been getting quite a lot of nail varnish lately because I've been getting very into the nail art and I am hoping to do some nail art videos coming up soon some little tutorials and I'm quite looking forward to that because I'm really enjoying doing that so that's it that is my little haul <laughs> of sorts i hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and if you enjoyed this please subscribe and as always thanks for watching bye